Hey folks, how we doing? So recently I've been playing a bunch of Mario 3D World and you know, it is a fantastic game. I played it on the Wii U but I never actually completed that very, very last level. And oh my God, it haunts me to this day. So many lives used. You know what, I'm gonna try and get there again. And like it's a fantastic game, you really should give it a try. And if you are interested in buying the game, then I'm gonna leave a link down below so you can buy it through the channel and that'd be great. But what we're gonna be doing today is recreating this run effect. So let's see what that looks like. And it's really nice. So when we sprint, you know, we've got like these big clouds that appear and they're almost sort of like, you know, volumetric, they're quite, um, They've got a lot of depth on them that you probably couldn't easily recreate using just a simple particle system. And how we're gonna do this is by using Blender. And we're gonna to go to our Sculpt Tools and we're just gonna make a very simple cloud. So I'm just gonna get a nice big brush by pressing my square bracket and increasing like the radius of it. And let's just make something that looks a bit cloud-esque. Now, I don't think you need to worry too much about um, like how this is gonna turn out and how this looks. But I'm just clicking and holding and doing some swirls as you can sort of see. There we go. That'll sort of be my cloud. And you can tweak it like, let's use the cut if you want to sort of give it a bit more depth around, you know, some like and highlight some like more of the cloud areas as you can see me doing here. And you can spend as much time or as little time on this as you want it really. Like obviously the more time you work on it, the better it'll look. And for me, that, that's what I'm just gonna do. You could get your brush and take your strength down a bunch and hold shift and soften some of those out as well if they're a bit sharp. Um, but you know, like I said, that, that's up to you. That's how much you want to sort of go about deforming this and changing it and tweaking it. And there we go, that's loosely my um, cloud, but if we go and show our stats um, by clicking on there, we can see this is quite massive. You don't want to be spawning too many of these at runtime. So let's go to our modifier stack and add a remesh here. And you can see already, um, let's just turn on smoothing. You can already see that this has dropped it and we can continue to, um, oops bring this down now let's just sort of loosely try and get it can we get it under a thousand without it looking too bad i mean that's okay uh it's up to you in your game and you know how performance heavy you want this to be but let's say that's our cloud we're just going to export this as an obj and uh, as an obj as an fbx so once we've done that, we can go to Unreal and import them. And there we go. We've now got our cloud. This is what our cloud looks like. It's fine and dandy. It's brought us through material. I'm not going to do too much with this material. Um, I'm just going to make it grey, I guess. Like a bright grey. Because um, I didn't lay out the UVs or anything. So I'm not really sure what how much effect that would have. That'll do. I mean, it's already sort of great. You could mess with this a bit more and you know, sort of tweak it and change it, um, but I'm not gonna do that in this video. So let's create a particle system. And let's call it run cloud. So just right click in some space and create a new particle system, which we'll call run cloud. And we'll, oops. Um, We'll drag one into our world so we can sort of see what it's looking like. Let's get this as well, stretch it out. So what we're gonna to need to do is make this into a 3D type particle, uh, sorry, mesh type particle. So if we click that, right click in some space, and then let's go to mesh data, and let's drag and drop a cloud in there. Now, typically what happens is, well, I have to zoom out a whole bunch to actually see the cloud, because the initial size is gonna be scaling this up a whole bunch. So let's just make this a whole lot smaller. So I'm just stringing it down. I'm gonna press F to review it again. Cool. And we can already see it's coming through and it's looking quite crazy. So let's, let's tweak and change some of these settings, shall we? 
Um, let's do our initial velocity. And I don't really want much left or right, so I'm just gonna set these to about 0.2 and 0.2 and minus 0.2, minus 0.2. So you can have some maybe, but not really not really much. There we go. That's a bit more like what we want. Um, next, let's change that spawn. Let's go a lot less, maybe like eight. So the idea is, you know, when it's going to be following, we sort of want it to spawn like that. We can tweak and change these. Um, let's add some rotation rate. Initial rotation rate. And I don't know, let's just go 0 0.1. Because again, we don't want much on this. So you can go any which way. There we go, we've got a bit of rotation now. Even maybe that's a bit much, but you know, we can we could lower that if we wanted to, but I think that'll be fine for now. Um, let's add a bit of mixture to our orientation as well, shall we? Um, Say 10, 10, 10. And this should sort of deform the shape a little bit more and make it look a little bit different. So you can see how some are a bit sort of like longer and a bit stretched out. So it's just offering a different sort of shape. So not every one of them is going to look the same. Um, do, 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 do. Are the camera facing now. Apply rotation. No, no, no. I think. Pretty much all those are fine. We don't need to do any collisions on them. Um, cool, that's mostly looking all right, really. I think that's not looking too bad. What we need is some scale by life though. So let's do size by life. And our size by life is, let me just close these. We actually want about four points. So we have our first point. Um, at zero seconds, we kind of want it to be zero. On a second point, so after about, I don't know, 0 0.2, then we'll come to max size. And then we want to stay max size for a while, we'll say 0 0.7. And we still want to be max size at that point, have this nice consistent size. And then by the end, we kind of almost want to disappear again and that's looking all right there too um so let's get our player um, and open his blueprint uh, let's drag that over here like so go to the viewport and let's add a particle system and that wants to be a run cloud. And hit compile. And I'm actually just going to move this, put it a touch behind his legs. There we go. I'm just going to increase the boom as well <laughs> so we can see this a bit easier. All right. And Let's have a quick look, see, see how this is looking. Ooh, let's remove you, we don't need you anymore. Not bad. Ooh, actually it's just compiled. I think maybe we want to spawn a little bit more. Um, yeah, let's spawn a couple more. So let's spawn up to 10. Let's increase the lifetime as well. I think a constant will be okay here to, I don't know, 1.6. And on the size by life, I actually maybe want you to go to about 0 0.3. Let's see how that looks. Now we should probably do this on, you know, when you start moving, because obviously when you stand still, it looks a bit bad. But you know, the blueprints in the setup, you could sort of tweak how you wanted to. But I think for the most part, that's looking all right, isn't it? Are we spawning too many? Are we spawning too little? 
Is a lifetime too long? Nah, I think that's okay. And again, these are just sort of like the fine tweaking of the numbers that you could do and that you can mess with. But I think as a sort of emulation for what we're going for, that's quite quite nice. Maybe the clouds should be a bit greyer um, and maybe add a bit of a gradient actually so they get a bit darker towards the bottom, like a, a world aligned gradient. And that would be our effect. That's looking quite nice. Excellent. Um, let's just have a quick looking full screen. Cool. I'm happy with that. Um, all right. Like I say, you can fine tweak this. Um, like I say, you might want to change the spawn a bit. Um, maybe change like the lifetime. These are things that you can mess with. Um, but ultimately, I'm happy with that. I might tweak that and tweak the gradients a bit. Uh, but I think that's cool. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I'd love to see or hear what you guys have been working on in the comments. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to help the channel out. And I will put a link to Mario in the description box. It'd be, um, it's a great game. You should definitely check it out. So as always, I will catch you next time.